Ronald Reagan had a famous line about what he called the nine most terrifying words in the English language. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. The federal government is now helping a lot of New Mexicans who don't need or want it and especially don't want to pay for it. Here's Matt Grubbs on special assignment. It might seem obvious that Wendy Young's home is not in a floodplain. You could ask anyone, anyone except the federal government. If this floods, we're not gonna need flood insurance, we're gonna need an ARC. Wendy wants to buy the home from her father, Frank. To buy the house she's lived in for years, she needs a mortgage, and to get it, FEMA says she needs flood insurance at about a thousand bucks a year. And if we're gonna live here for another 20 years, 30 years, that's twenty, thirty thousand dollars Every so often, and there's really no timetable, FEMA redraws floodplain boundaries. Every time that happens, homeowners can find themselves caught, as Frank Young says, between government regulations and logic. And they've come dipped over into this property only uh, and put it right through the center of the house. Santa Fe County layered FEMA's flood zone map onto this map of the property. FEMA's flood zone climbs up a 25 to 30 foot embankment and, as Frank says, runs more or less through the kitchen before it drops back down into the arroyo. To prove that the flood zone is wrong, you have to hire uh, a surveyor or an engineer to come out and establish the elevations. If we do end up hiring an engineer, it's gonna be $2,800 and we're gonna be doing the government's job. <laughs> Even if she's able to hire a surveyor to do the job, it'll be hundreds of dollars to get FEMA to amend or revise the map. FEMA wouldn't comment on Wendy's case specifically. It said it used recent map data when it could and used aerial photographs to determine flood zones, but the agency said nobody was ever actually on the ground in Cerritos. Once you are on the ground out here, either up on Frank and Wendy's property or down in the Arroyo, it is not hard to see just how far water would have to go to make it up here. Ah, but what about last September, you say? When we were all wondering if our roofs would hold all that rain, what did it look like then? It looked like these photos Wendy's friend took. It was roaring. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest about that. It was it's like we had riverfront property for a few hours. And it was beautiful, but it was way over there. She's right. Look at the arroyo the day we were out at Wendy's Cerritos home. Now look at it in the middle of the deluge last fall. Impressive, except the water in this photo is nowhere near Wendy's house. It's way over on the left. 25 feet at least, maybe more. Way above the arroyo. We're not the only people affected. The engineer that we spoke with said that he's done 80 of these. But while the problem grows, FEMA's budget shrinks. It seems to me that they're working with inadequate material, and they're just kind of making it up as they go, at least for our case anyway. I don't know about everybody else, but. There are problems everywhere. Take Bernalillo County, where the base floodplain map dates back 30 years. And while technology has made huge leaps since then, that map is still revised largely on a case-by-case -case basis. Federal flood insurance is a well-meaning but imperfect system that's been nearly bankrupted by payouts to homeowners after storms on the coast. It needs to be shored up against the tide of claims and FEMA is trying to prepare for the next natural disaster, but it does make mistakes. And for people like Wendy, fixing those mistakes is a disaster all its own. I'm just making phone calls all day long just to kind of stay out of trouble <laughs> that I'm not in. <laughs> On special assignment, Matt Grubbs, KRQ -E News 13. Wendy Young's mortgage company bought the policy this year, which means she's now paid $2,000 into that program. There's no credit for those premiums or for the cost of the survey to prove what Young suspects is true. She is not in a flood zone.